talk about uh, algorithm economy. It's a very fascinating time, and if I just detail it out, how sophistication in algorithms and anal analytics is accelerating digital disruption across enterprises. We are living in a very exciting time, and it's, it's been a kind of a, let's say, a fourth technology revolution we are talking about. And I think the whole fundamental basis of this technology revolution has been that what we are trying to see is unprecedented. Industries are going through a massive disruption. To top it all, there is a whole new world which is coming out of digital. And then we are talking about reimagining the customer experience. Three dimensions I'm trying to cover in this whole facet of discussions. One, how analytics as an industry has changed over the last decade. It's so much, I would say, in a space where it's gone through multiple hoops and curves. The second piece, the present state of algorithms, the present state of analytics, how it's getting consumed across industry. And the third, which is very, very key, how algorithm economy is trying to change the whole facet of the new enterprises. This is what happened when we take around last decade about analytics. IS reporting got into ERP. ERP got morphed into BIDW. And BIDW started the whole chain of what we say the genre of analytics, descriptive, predictive, prescriptive, and now data science. While all this has been a part of the fundamental shift, a tectonic shift in the technology and analytics, one of the seemingly visible differentiation has been insights, intelligence, recommendations. Now, this is where, where we believe that it's so fundamentally strong when it comes to the usage of analytics. 10 years back, we were just talking about a point of need analytics. That's it. Analytics could be so pervasive, smart, in invisible, and also shaping up the whole industry as, as a sub-segment. This is what started the whole transformation. The different channels of information, disparate views about how data needs to be aggregated. 60 seconds. This is what is happening currently. The deluge of data through unprecedented dimensions in terms of how it needs to be aggregated, captured, and thrown back for the enterprises, not only to kind of just glean and massage, but to draw some insights. And this is where the transformation got more morphed into when we talk about taking an analogy that if you look from the left to the right, the hindsight to the foresight. Hindsight was more about the usual BI reporting stuff. And we were talking about the new wave, which is the foresight. We're talking about information, decisions getting more predictive. What if this can happen? What if this can actually be optimized? What if this can be forecasted? What if this can be predicted? This is not only based on one particular fundamental algorithm. It's also basis about different variables, assumptions, and the nuances you need to capture to ensure a future is well, well predicted. When we talk about the changing genre of analytics, it's gone through various stages. When we talk about the descriptive and the most, most, I would say, basic piece of kind of predicting, it never took into consideration what it can do for the industry. Analytics was more about kind of a saying that, look, I can do something where my clients are saying, we are data rich, information poor, inside starved. Can you help solve my problem? This is where this genre of analytics changed. So if you look at the topmost layer, we got into the whole genre of what we call prescriptive analytics, where analytics was just not providing a bunch of reports or let's say an MIS. It was getting into a territory where the boardroom decisions are being taken with conjunction of how analytics is used in that organization. And I'll explain in the next subsequent kind of a, let's say, slide, what it means in terms of the changing facet of analytics. This is where what we say the traditional usage and consumption of analytics happened. 
everything in terms of industry. You take life sciences, retail, insurance, banking, I mean, even manufacturing, started using analytics in the three broad segments. Customer analytics, which was nothing but taking the whole life cycle of customers. How do I get more customers? How do I acquire more chunky customers? How do I ensure that my customer churn is mitigated? This became the life and the kind of a, the best usage for analytics for most of the companies which were trying to focus on cust customer journey. The second piece of analytics took a different approach. I've got risk, security, compliance, regulatory concerns to take care in the organization. What do I do? I use analytics over there. Anomaly detection, fraud prevention started coming into the picture. The operational piece got more manifested with the usage of warranty analytics, supply chain, the functional side of HR and finance. So the whole spectrum of analytics got so much broad, we started talking about, is it touching the whole life cycle of not only an enterprise, but also in terms of what it can do for an organization? That's where most of the analysts, most of the whole kind of prediction got into three dimensions. So if we take the fourth industrial revolution and try to kind of dovetail with the whole three revolutions of analytics, we are talking about analytics now becoming more of strategic asset for the organization. Think of this. Analytics 1.0 was all about traditional analytics, right from what we say descriptive to pres prescriptive. The whole new wave of big data, analytics 2.0 came in. It was more about how big data is trying to capture with the volume, velocity, veracity of the data and trying to come out with better decision making. Got to a stage, we're talking about if you dovetail these two pieces together, the whole economy of enterprises, nations, will be determined how algorithms will define or be defined in terms of capturing the nu nuances. Algorithms in data economy will just not be the software codes or the pieces. They'll be more and more tuned about solving a particular business problem and ensuring you get insights, intelligence, and recommendations for the best use of the corporates and enterprises. This is where the scenario is changing and it's bound to change. And 2020, we're talking about a major tectonic shift in analytics where all the machines, all the individuals, will see analytics as the most pervasive, most smart, and the invisible piece within enterprises. On the right side, if we see, we're talking about analytics getting embedded in each of the business processes and the functions of the organizations where every decision making, every kind of governance, every kind of norm will be say, set, how analytics is trying to capture the whole essence of the organization and how decision making becomes much more simpler by the usage of analytics. This change is going through one more transformation altogether. Now, this is the complexity of technology. What is today, 18 months down the line, will get obsolete. And so has been the whole genres of analytics while the industry is 15 years. But we have seen a major change how it's getting consumed by the organization and how it's being delivered by the service providers. And the major reason for that change is nothing but what, what we call digital. We're talking about two facets out here, data deluge and digital detonation. Digital, for all of us, is very, very esoteric. I'm sure whenever in the boardrooms, discussions, conversations with the clients, there is always an ask about what's digital. The answers are very, very disparate and varied. What's digital, what's is not. I think it's all about perspective. But if we just try to take an aggregated view from the customers, from the viewpoint of the analyst, this is where it comes into the picture, where we're talking about data is the new oil and digital is the new currency. It's about reimagining the customer experience. It's also about introducing new innovative products and services and finally, it's about changing the business models, the operating models. If you take these three dimensions as part of the digital, the underpinning all across the digital 
aspect is nothing but analytics and algorithms. Everything is running around data. Every organization is jostling to kind, kind of do something around data. And that's where algorithms will become a secret sauce for the organization and a major, major differentiation, differentiator for top enterprises. And it's already happening. I mean, if you take examples today, this is what is industry, which is what we say under the fourth industrial revolution or the technology revolution is going through. Now compare this to what I narrated a few slides back. It was all about traditional economy, consuming analytics. Now it's all about variables. We are talking about drones. We are talking about omnichannel, personalized medicines, IoT, sensors, devices talking to each other. The industries fundamentally are going through a change. And that whole change is being influenced because of the advent of digital, and the un underpinning of this change can be best leveraged and accelerated with the usage of analytics. Now, what it means, while analytics is something everyone is saying, doing, and is the most topical, resonating talk, but what's in for me? How exactly companies are trying to differentiate analytics and being best of the breed in terms of what they do as, as part of their competitive differentiation. There is an aspect over there, what we say that, if you look at the top trend, top topical trends of analytics and data science today. Data science is more about sophistication of analytics and that's also one of the trend. Out here, while I enumerate all these trends, the biggest fundamental trend, what you see as part of a seemingly connecting the dots is, it's all about taking the future approach where every part of analytics is influencing every dimension function of the organization. We are talking about today advancements in analytics where artificial intelligence, machine learning, cognitive capabilities are redefining how algorithms can be more accurate. There is always a belief today that algorithms, while it captures the best of the things, needs alteration, needs modification and resurrection. That can only happen if the usage of new analytical techniques can be more amplified in terms of what we say that is it giving me best and the accurate results. And that's where if we try to kind of look at all these trends, we are talking about machine learning algorithms, we are talking about the new cognitive capabilities influencing the decision making in a way where today there is an aspect which is do you require human talent, human addition to take those decisions or the algorithms will drive those decisions and human talent will just be there to say, look, this is what my algorithm is saying, better do it. I think this is where the whole aspect is all about if we look at the fundamental shift, which is data is inherently dumb. Everyone is talking about data, but I, I don't think so. Data alone can be of any utility. It's more about how algorithms are best leveraged to provide insights, recommendations, and intelligence. And this is where the final dimension of the algorithms and the sophistication of analytics comes in, where we say, does your algorithm becomes a secret sauce and a competitive differentiation in your organization? And it's bound to happen. If you look at the examples in the slide, Netflix, Uber, Pandora, Google, their entire base is nothing but algorithms. Look at the market capitalization, look at the net worth they are trying to enjoy. It's all about what they're trying to do, basis the algorithms. We have seen how Uber uses search pricing and the impact, what it drives for them on a daily basis. This is where the organizations, small, mid-sized, large, will try to change their strategic and operating model in the time to come. And this is where we will say that eventually they will become math houses. Each one of them running with their source algorithms, proprietary, IP-led, each one of them will have algorithms which will, which will be solving different disparate business problems. IP kind of, a, let's say, algorithms saying, look, can we talk to each other? 
And those decision makings through the algorithms becomes easy because those are then implemented, executed in the market as well. Now this is where we would say then the decision optimization, which is a key fundamental of any enterprise system will become more reliant on algorithms. The boardrooms, as we say, will have a new member, Mr. Algorithm. Mr. Algorithm will decide how this organization needs to fundamentally exist. It's like talking on a PL basis. It's akin to those PL discussions about top line and bottom line. And eventually, then we are talking about this is all leading to nothing but algorithm economy. The democratization of analytics, data as a service, will throw nothing but more algorithms where a marketplace of algorithms will emerge. They will be traded. You can buy or sell algorithms. And those algorithms will be nothing but IPable algorithms solving a business problem. And if you want an algorithm to actually look at strengthening your risk profiling of your customers, pick it up from the marketplace. It's just like you have today a stock exchange. Algorithms will have a marketplace to buy and sell. Niche boutique analytics players will emerge, which will have much more robust capabilities compared to the larger organizations who say, look, I've got a much sophisticated algorithm. Do you want to buy it? Then we are talking about a whole surface of analytics products which will come in and which will determine how analytics and algorithms can talk to each other. Now, this is where what we believe the fundamental change of economy combined with digital detonation will happen, where we are talking about a change where while we have the boardroom discussions today, boardroom discussions do not have any kind of insights, intelligence, and recommendations until those algorithms are being dealt are being discussed. That's where those client conversations will change, where we're talking about data-rich information inside staff. This is the algorithm which can solve the problem. Eventually, we're talking about an algorithm economy coming, redefining the whole technology disruption of the CXOs. And eventually, we're talking about this fascinating world of algorithm where most of the organizations will become math houses, where data, where algorithms are being churned, they're solving a business problem, strategic operational aspects of decision-making conversations will all be led by algorithms. That's where we are talking about a sea change where we will have nothing but what we say that, look, this is where the advent of technology led, algorithms kind of did the change, and analytics took a different picture altogether. That's, that's all about it. Thank you. <clears throat>